how to avoid a frozen bank account. Thank you very much for watching this very interesting interview with my partner Enzo Caputo from Switzerland. Um, we are now for this interview in the most beautiful location in front of the lake Lugano. Um, an amazing view, a yeah. bright sunny day. <laughs> so I'm really interested in what the ways are to avoid your bank account to be frozen, to avoid the bank having issues with you, miscommunication, misunderstanding, um, you know, mismanagement. What can go wrong and how do you avoid things to go wrong? So how to avoid the frozen bank account? You have to be clear with your bank. You should not lie. Many people, they go to the bank, they are not prepared, they have not the right documents and they are confronted with questions. The bank is posing questions, the documents are not good, for example when they open an account or they want to increase the amount or whatever they want to do with the bank, the documents are not sufficient, the bank is coming back with questions, they, ha they, they don't want to answer the questions or worst, they are lying. Mm -hmm. This is the biggest mistake you can do, to lie to a bank. Yes, never ever lie to your lawyer and never ever lie to your bank. It will, it will not help you. Exactly. It does not help and you. And also to your doctor, you should not lie. Yes. Doctor, banker and lawyer, you should not lie because yeah. this is not productive. Exactly. This is <laughs> counterproductive. <laughs> you will create damage. Yeah. Damage. Yeah. So you should not lie because if you lie to the banker, he is forced by law to file a report for suspicious activity. There are reports imposed by anti-money laundering legislations. They have to file such a report, you know, against you to the authorities. What happens? The authority, they will immediately freeze your account. Even if it is a misunderstanding, a simple misunderstanding can be sufficient. Mm -hmm. So if you lie or if, if you are not sure about what you are talking about, better to say nothing, to say, look, uh, let's make another meeting, let's fix another meeting, I have to pick up some documents at home, I want to do this conversation later on with the banker. Avoid the conversation or take a lawyer or come to me as an expert. I have 30 years of uh, professional experience, I'm a Swiss banking lawyer, I'm working with Caputo Partners, this is my law firm, we are based at Paradeplatz in Zurich, in the center of Zurich, come to us, we will help you. We will sit together on the table in Zurich and we will help you to figure out your problem, to discuss your problem, to go in the meeting, we will go with you to the meeting with your banker. We will sit on the table with your banker and fix your problem there. But don't try to fix your problem yourself because this can end up in a frozen account. And if an account is frozen, the damage I saw people losing their business, their existence even, because of a frozen bank account. You are talking about huge amounts of money and assets. Huge amounts of money. For example, somebody has a bank account, 20 millions. He's running his companies. He has to do payments and whatever. And suddenly, from one day to the other, everything is frozen. Because not only his, his private account is closed, his corporate account, everything is closed. If there is suspicion, there is suspicion. So this is the absolute uh, disaster. This such a disaster should be avoided. So don't tell stories to your bank. Don't lie to your bank. You better to say nothing, to say to him, look, I, I'm not prepared yet. I have to collect all my documentation and then you come to us. We will give you good advice. We will help you to prepare mm -hmm. everything, to go to the bank yes. and explain your issue, explain your problems in a compliant way, avoiding any damage because the consequences are, are, uh, are big and the Swiss banks are very nervous these days. They are so nervous, you know, it literally takes not much and then they are scared, you know. Mm -hmm. about terrorist lists. They have a yes. lot of compliance issues, you know, terrorist lists. And I saw also cases of misunderstanding also with the names, you know, with these Arab names. For example, especially clients with Arab names mm -hmm. are under risk because the risk <laughs> to be confused with somebody on the terrorist list is big, you know, <laughs> and then there's such an account is yeah. frozen. So, yeah. yeah. So just for my advice as well, I did a lot of mistakes in terms of banking yeah. in the past in Switzerland, in Hong Kong and other destinations. So first, I wasn't prepared yeah. for opening. I just trusted somebody to do all the work for me yeah. without really doing a background check of this person and the reputation. So you can go ahead, check his reputation because he has 30 years of experience in the Swiss banking world and he is a lawyer 
a banking lawyer. Exactly. Right? I'm so a that Swiss is lawyer admitted to practice in Switzerland yes. and specialized in banking. Yes. So this is yes. very important. So this is not just a bank advisor or anybody yeah. who just read something in the internet and then gives you advice, but this is just a very professional experience behind that. Exactly. exactly. Um, so I didn't have that when I opened my first accounts. I just did it with an agency or with a consultant, right? That's yeah. a big difference. Um, second thing is, when you have your bank account open, congratulations, but then don't just do business as you like, right? Always have some advisors and in case you are confused, in case you are not sure, just give them a call, ask about it and then find a solution to tell your bank what's going to happen so yeah. that they can get prepared, right? I did some six-figure transactions, for example, mm -hmm. incoming and outgoing and when this happened, they just closed my account. Yeah. Yeah, like after two transactions, they just closed. And the they will tell you nothing. They will they, not. They the just, bank will no, no, not no, tell no. you I, the after nothing. Two, correct. I didn't even know. Yeah. You know, I just assumed yeah. that this is connected. Yeah. I just assumed because they will never know. No uh, confirmation. I will never know. Yes. The bank didn't they disclose will never you tell why me. they did that. Exactly. No so explanation. Like after two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks after this these transactions, I got a letter like. Yeah. Dear Mr. Uh, we are going to close your account. You have four weeks of finding another one. Uh, please tell us the new bank details yeah, yeah. and we will wire your money, right? So they don't, you know, keep it. You but know? you are lucky. You are I'm lucky. lucky you the know? account was not frozen. At least they yeah. gave you the option to yeah. change the bank. Yes. You know? Which is still a big problem because then you are, problem. you know, losing days thinking Under about stress. it. Yeah. Then maybe a week of traveling, whatever. And then you find the bank and then again without somebody like you, yeah. You know, I wasn't prepared for the other account opening as well. So I have to go there twice, you know, yeah. to get the, the material they, they wanted from me because it's not so easy to just call the bank and tell them, please send me all the requirements so mm. that I know what you need. Yeah. They will send you like 70, 80%, but then maybe the, like the tiny bits that really make the picture complete, they are missing sometimes without the proper yeah, exactly. uh, advice. Because right? banks, they like to work with somebody they trust. Exactly. So bank like to work with introducers like us because yes. they know people are already filtered. Mm. So the people I bring to the bank, I already check these people, these people, you know, with the mm. same system the bank has. So they know exactly that they will have good people presented on the silver plate. So they like, banks like to work with people they trust and they can rely since many years. So we have very long-standing relationships with these banks and asset managers. So we will introduce you to really good professionals. Super. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time for this wonderful it interview. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure, Mark. Yes, pleasure. and I enjoy working with you because of the professional approach. Yeah. So it's always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for you. watching. Have a nice Thank day. You. Bye bye.